Hey everyone, welcome to the second installment of the ASO Academy. Uh, today's lesson will be on doing keyword research. So how do you find the right keywords to be used in your app listing, whether on Google Play or in the iOS App Store? So there are many different ways that you can do keyword research, but today we're going to go over two of the most popular ones, which are using an ASO tool like Mobile Action or App Annie and doing autofill results from the an iPhone or iPad or the Google Play Store. So before you start to do keyword research, it's really important that you understand uh, the core terms that describe the app that you are, you're going to be marketing. So in our example today, we're going to be using Expedia. So Expedia is a brand you know, that does travel. So some core terms that might make sense for Expedia would include flights, hotels, or hotel. You want to look for both plural and singular so that you can see uh, combinations that are built with both of those core terms and you can also see volume differences when you look at an app store optimization tool. Uh, you can also have flight and flights and then car rental and travel. Now there are many different terms that you could use to describe Expedia but for the purposes of time today we're just going to stick with these, this list right here. So once you've built out a list of core terms you want to find additional keywords from you can actually put it into the Google Keywords Planner tool in order to find synonyms and more terms that can make sense. Um, and then once you have that full list, one of the easiest ways to find more keywords to use in your app listing, whether it's um, on Google or app, so Apple, is to do autofill results. So this is literally just putting in some of these core terms and seeing what comes out, uh, what people are searching for. So this is Google telling us that when people start to search flight, uh, the most popular words that pop up, or the most popular uh, additional phrases that pop up a tracker. Just regular flight simulator, flight where flights. So sometimes it takes a little playing around uh, to find keywords that actually make sense for, for your app, but using autofill results can really show you uh, things that have decent volume that are related to your core terms. So here we have for flight booking apps, flight booking, um, if we type hotels, we'll probably find some other ones. So Hotels app, um, Hotel Tonight is a, a competitor brand. Then if we have travel, we may have travel apps, uh, travel and local, uh, and then car rental. So car rental. And if you start to type more and more characters, you'll start to see more um, results that pop up that are probably going to be a little more relevant. So these, the more words that are appended onto the end of your keyword. Um, these are called long tail. These are lower volume and usually higher, higher intent. Um, so you know that somebody who's typing car rentals apps is probably uh, going to convert or do something, uh, have higher intent to take an action than just car rent to car rental. You're not really sure exactly what people are looking for. Um, the fewer words are tacked on to the end of a core term. So again, one of the easiest ways to find good keywords is to start doing all of the results in the Play Store for Android or to do the same in uh, the App Store, either from an iPhone or an iPad. So we can do the same thing. Type in flight uh, space or hotel space and we see some results pop up here. So one of these results is hotel search. So that could be a relevant term uh, that we could use in our app to get it in front of people that are looking for uh, Expedia and looking who may, might become users and customers of Expedia. So another way, other above and beyond, um, oh, and there's one more place that I want to call out here. So when you when you search for a term in uh, the App Store, like hotels, not only do you get autofill results, but you get related terms at the top too. So related terms are synonyms, other things that people search um, that are related to whatever term it is that you entered in. Now sometimes these won't entirely be relevant, uh, but a lot of times you do get some good relevant results. For example, here we saw hotels related terms are motels, vacation rentals, um, 
airline tickets, vacation deals. So these are a couple of good places to find keywords organically. And we assume that each one of these keywords that's found from this manner is high volume because uh, the store, whether it's Apple or Google, is com collecting a lot of data on what people search. And these suggestions are um, therefore based on high volume. So another thing we can do to find uh, relevant keywords is to look up competitors uh, in an app store optimization tool like App Annie or Mobile Action. So Hotels com is one of Expedia's uh, competitors. So we can go and search hotels.com. You have to sign up for an account for App Annie, but it's free to sign up and use most of its features. Then you can go to keyword slash ASO. And this will show you the keywords that App Annie um, thinks are related to hotels.com that people are searching based on its data. So again, you can see booking hotel, hotels, um, near me is a popular uh, modification term for hotels near me, um, restaurants near me is another popular one, things near me, travel, and um, there may be other things that are, that are coming up that are relevant. So App Annie is one place you can go and find keywords um, by doing competitive research. And you can do the same thing in mobile action by going to, in mobile action you have to pay for, um, for most accounts. Uh, make sure that you're right in the right uh, store. But then you go to keyword suggestions. And one thing that's nice about mobile action is that not only does it provide you with uh, keyword suggestions, but it also provides you with search volume trends, which App Annie doesn't do. And I'll show you that in a moment in the keyword tracking section. So if we're looking at uh, hotels.com, we look at competitor keywords for hotels.com, and we can see all the keywords that Mobile Action, similar to App Annie, thinks hotels.com is relevant for. Uh, so booking hotel reservations, hotels booking, last minute booking, um, a bunch of competitors are popping up here. In, in general, competitors, uh, you want to stay away uh, as much as possible from because the App Store actually encourages in Google, App, Apple and Google both encourage you not to use competitors in your listing even though they may be relevant. You probably pop up for competitors um, but definitely don't put them in your title because you're not going to be rejected for that and uh, try not to mention them in your description because you can get in trouble with the App Stores as well. So once we find a bunch of keywords that we think are relevant um, and we build a list of these long tail or combined terms, we can use mobile action to see how much volume, how popular these terms are. And you'll need to separate these terms with commas um, in order to to get them into the system. There we go. And this is just using Excel to build out a list of comma separated items. So you can pull this and put it into mobile action and then you get to see the search volume for each of these terms. So we can search by search score, uh, largest to smallest, and sometimes it takes some time to calculate. But we see the cheap flights is actually one of the most popular uh, search volume wise keywords to use. So you want to definitely make sure that cheap flights and car rental, rent a car, are mentioned in our listing and in our title, moreover, than other places. Again, the title is the most effective place at ranking the keyword. Uh, the title is more important than keyword space for Apple or the description, or short description for Google. So use this to prioritize which keywords go into your title. And if you have a lot of keywords, which ones you want to put in your keyword space or in your long description for Google. Then once you have all the keywords that you know you want to rank for, that have good search volume score, or that are found in auto for results, which we assume to mean they have good search volume, then you start to build out your title. So try to paste as many of these high volume terms into 
um, the title as possible. And I've got one that's partially built out here just to show you the process for how you do it. Um, so we know that um, cheap flights is a very popular term, so we want to make sure that that, that phrase is in here. Cheap flights and hotel deals, car rental, um, travel planner app. And so this is uh, an example of how a title can include some of these high volume terms uh, so that it starts to rank for, uh, this app, Expedia, starts to rank for all these different uh, searches. So when somebody searches cheap flights, um, Expedia will be more, uh, like, more likely to pop up in a good position because it uses cheap flights in its title. Now be careful because Apple does um, review apps and it will reject uh, apps because sometimes the titles contain descriptors or uh, keywords. So you want to make sure that your title is not too long. Uh, a rule of thumb that I like to use is 100 characters. So make sure that your, your title is less than 100 characters and you know, don't try to uh, stuff keywords too obviously. It's, it's kind of like a game uh, of uh, trying to get as much into your title as possible that is uh, descriptive and not, uh, not, not natural uh, but gets all the keywords you want in there. Then, once you've got your title built out with all the keywords that have high search volume and importance, you move all the other keywords that you weren't able to fit into your, oops, got a typo here, make sure that you look your title over so that it makes sense. Um, then you move all the other keywords that you weren't able to get into the title into your keyword space for Apple. The keyword space is another place where you can put keywords and it helps you rank, but again, it's not going to be as good at ranking as the title is. So, um, in Google Play, you don't have a keyword space, you just have a title, which is actually only 30 characters long, and so you have to be very um, conservative about what keywords you put in here, so you really want to make sure that you're using only the high volume terms um, for, uh, for Google, and then you want to put all the other keywords into either your short description or your long description. So here is an example sentence that can use some of these important terms um, that we found through keyword research. So use Expedia to plan your vacation and find cheap hotels, motels, flights, even rent a car. So with Google it's nice that the entire uh, description will rank keywords for you so you don't have to stick with just a 100, 100 characters on Apple side. Um, so use your long description in Google to place keywords uh, whereas you can't in Apple, and use your keywords in Apple to place keywords whereas you can't in Google. Now, there's plenty more things that we can review to discuss optimizing your keyword space, your title, your description, but this is just a short description of, uh, a short overview of how you can do some keyword research for a particular app. Again, the process is first find all your core terms, the things that describe uh, in a general sense what your app is all about. So for Expedia, that's flights, hotels, uh, car rental, travel, maybe vacations. Then you want to either use autofill results from the App Store or the Play Store in order to find uh, common variations that include those core terms. Or you can use um, App Annie or Mobile Action in order to find keywords that competitors are using. But then you want to take all those keywords and put them into Mobile Action, into the keyword tracking space, uh, comma separated to see which ones have high search volume. And then you want to take those high search volume important keywords and put them into uh, the title, which is the most important place to rank, followed by uh, the keyword space for Apple and then the long description for Google. So next time we'll talk more about optimizing uh, elements like the description, uh, the short description, uh, the keyword space, the title, screenshots and things. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions or would like to learn more, please reach out to us at hello at incipia.com or .co and uh, you know, visit our site at incipia.co and sign up for our email newsletter to learn more. We write a lot, bunch of blogs about apps, app store optimization and trials and tribulations from our experiences uh, or subscribe to this channel. And also feel free to make requests on um, videos, topics that you'd like to learn about uh, we'll do our best to explain them. So thanks for watching, and tune in next time. We'll talk to you soon.